what the deal is, the rack and pinion is stripped out. When you turn it all the way to the right, the steering wheel just keeps spinning. So what we're going to do is replace this steering rack and we're also going to replace the shock absorbers because all of the bushings are worn out here and up here. I can't get those bushings separately so you have to replace the shock and coil spring assembly. Go ahead and take off the front wheel. It's just one 15 16 bolt. Loosen the nut for the ball joint assembly here. Take this nut off and pop the ball joint out of its holder here. Go ahead and remove your shock bolt. They're 15 millimeter. You don't have to have two ratchets, but it's faster. You can just put a wrench on this side and you will have to have a wrench because you can't get a socket in here. Go ahead and loosen up your shock and take the shock completely out. I will caution you, sometimes these bolts are tight buddy and you can't get an impact up in there so I've got me an extension on my ratchet here. Oh, there, it finally broke. Just pull the shock out, shock out of there. The metal inserts are going to fall out on the ground right there. Over there. These, uh, if you could find a way to rebush these, these shocks are probably still good, but I just, there's no way to do it. Uh, the next step we're going to have to do, we're going to have to take this whole complete fender off. It's just uh, half inch bolts without nuts on the back sides. There's some here, here, and there's some up in here. Take all those screws out, and then the fender just comes right off. Get this last one out here. Pull the fender down, comes right off. These things are so service friendly, it's crazy. With the fender removed, we're that much closer to the steering right now. And uh, what we need to do is follow the steering rack, the axle up here to this U-joint. We need to crack this nut loose right here. And then we're gonna slide the whole steering shaft up through the column. And so we'll get this off and then the steering shaft is going to go yonder way and then we'll loosen up the bolts that actually hold the rack on and then we'll just slide the whole rack out this way. Take your air hammer and stick it on the meaty part of the spider only. Don't put it here or don't put it here. Only right here in the middle of that spider and you don't have to use full force to get this off. This is the absolute easiest way. Just like that right there. Slide that on up. What it is, the it gets rust build up right here and inside the U-joint right here. And trying to get that out by hand is impossible. Go ahead and pop the ball joint loose on the dry, uh, passenger side. You don't have to worry about these threads because your the new steering rack comes with new ball joints. To start the steering rack removal process we're going to take these two nuts loose here. One here and one here. They're both 15 millimeter. Reach up in here and then you can remove the strap that holds the steering rack in. The last two bolts that we want to take out are these two. What you'll have to do is get you a 15 millimeter box wrench and put up in here like this and then on the top we'll catch it with a ratchet. Just take these two bolts out and then we'll slide the rack out and then we'll start putting the new one in. With all the bolts loose, we can now slide the rack out. Be mindful of this rubber grommet right here. Don't lose it. Be careful of your wires. Don't let them get pinched. But just slide everything this way. Take this grommet away. 
What's up? There's a couple subtle differences in the old rack compared to the new rack. As you can tell, this one has a pretty big seal that just presses into the rack housing where this one has a metal, uh, looks like a bearing surface possibly. A big bearing right there and then a small seal. It looks like the new style is going to be better because these were bad about that bearing behind that seal going out and then that shaft just wobbles everywhere. So if you order the new rack, it's probably going to come with this updated version, which looks to be better to me. Go ahead and get the new rack slid in place. Make sure the grommet here goes right in the groove here. Make sure it's flush with the frame of the machine right here. And basically, we'll just start putting the bolts back in. I'll do these two and then we'll go around and then we'll put the new strap and new uh, rubber grommet on the passenger side. It comes with a new strap kit, new rubber bushing, nuts, and strap. Basically what you want to do is that you want to put this rubber bushing around the tube here. Just like that and then we'll put this strap over the bushing and down through the mounting holes. If you'll hit this little rubber bushing with some WD-40, it'll slide on a whole lot easier. <clears throat> Go ahead and tighten your ball joints up. Give them a couple of bumps with the impact, that's all you need to do. Plenty tight right there. I can't find a torque spec in the service manual at all. So I just tighten them until they get tight. Next step we're going to do, we're going to put the U-joint back down over the steering shaft here. You go to put your U-joint back on your steering shaft, you want to use this little raised edge right here, right in line with this paint mark that they put on from the factory. Also, you only want to knock it down because you can go too far where this bolt hole lines up with the shaft right there. You want it to where the bolt just will slide in easy and then just stick your nut on the back side and then give her a tightening. Go ahead and get your fender mounted back on and just tighten all your screws and kind of like an X pattern. I'd start up here and do this one and then this one and then you know what I mean, just an X pattern. Go ahead and mount your new shocks in place. It's got new bushings up here and up there. Stick your bolts through, tighten them up. Go ahead and install your front wheels. Go ahead and give it a test drive here. What you want is to be going, you know, at a pretty good pace and it tracks straight. If it doesn't track straight, you'll have to adjust your ball joints in or out for your toe. The caster and the camber is not adjustable on these, but you can adjust the toe. Let me get out here in the street. wheels a little bit off but you can adjust that by taking this plate off taking the steering wheel over taking the steering wheel off and clocking it but I'm, I'm they're not gonna complain about that I don't even 
care that the steering wheel is off. It doesn't matter. I'll run by here. I want to show you a cool looking truck. I don't even know what gear model it is. Somebody's built this. Six wheeler. It's pretty neat. If you have any questions about John Deere Gators, let me know. Mower Medic 1. Have a good day.